All right, Pat, uh, I'm going to let you say it. You have some news to announce, so tell us the news. Well, the big news is that I have signed up to News Talk. I'm going to be presenting a mid morning program on News Talk starting on September the 2nd. And <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited about the prospect, uh, I cannot tell you. Four and a half weeks' time, Monday, September the 2nd, yeah. 10 in the morning, Pat Kenny's on News Talk. Yeah, for two and a half hours until 12.30. And that's the plan. How. Um, Okay, so many questions come to mind. First, how, how long have you worked at RTE? F oh, four, four decades, 40 years. Man and boy. Uh, I joined as a continuity announcer and then moved into children's television. Happily, uh, not too many images of that time remain, uh, but that's where I cut my teeth learning television programs. And then I moved on to reading the news and then features programs on radio and television, uh, ultimately presenting a program called Today Tonight, which is the equivalent of Prime Time Today. Then the Eurovision Song Contest in 1988, which led to Kenny Live, which I did for 11 years. That brought me into television entertainment. Meantime, I'm doing mid-morning radio on Radio 1, then the Late Late Show, and then the Frontline. So every so often I've chopped and changed uh, because I, I, it's not that I get bored, I don't, but I'm always anxious to kind of uh, have a new challenge for myself and each of those milestones represented uh, a massive challenge. But this is big. I mean, this is possibly the biggest change for you personally today. Well, I, mean, well I, th I thought it would never happen. I mean, that I would uh, be looking at a situation where I could remain with RT, but also someone else wanted me. Two offers on the table. Um, I just thought, at this stage of my life, if you're, if you're going to do it at all, got to do it now. I, I only know you professionally. I learned about this uh, 20 minutes ago in the car. I'm stunned. People who work with you in RT all this time, but more importantly, the audience who's with you there, they're going to be stunned. W what's Pat doing what's this he for? Doing? Why is he doing? Well, I think uh, News Talk has great ambitions. I think it's a station that's growing. Um, it's an adventure I think I can be part of now. I can help, uh, help it grow. But fundamentally, I have always felt that there should be a, a market for talent, be they producers, researchers, uh, on-air presenters, reporters. There should be a market for talent. There should be flux. I mean, people learn in one place, go on and use that experience uh, somewhere else. Um, and I think uh, with today's decision on my part, it, it demonstrates that there is a market out there for talent. Uh, I don't like to think that people feel they are either a, a captive of the independent commercial sector or a captive of, of RT. There should be flux. And uh, I think my decision is demonstrating that there is flux. Well, this is going to be the biggest move between the two that you've talked about I, that well, I can Well, if you go back, you can go back to Ian Dempsey. Uh, you can look at uh, Ray Darcy uh, doing things. But you don't even have to look to uh, between the media. For example, you can go to print and look at Matt Cooper, mm -hmm. who uh, moved from being pr predominantly a print journalist. You've got uh, George Hook, uh, who's on later in the day, uh, who works also on RT television. So. There, there is a lively flux. Uh, I think people would be surprised. They would think I'm a lifer in uh, the RTE. But, I mean, there's nothing like surprising people. Um, when I left The Late Late Show, that was a big surprise uh, for people. And then the front line was born. And that was something else and something exciting and something that kept me really, really engaged. Pe people are going to say, OK, Pat's passionate about radio and he's tra going to transfer that passion to news talk. We can understand that. But the television side of things, are, are, are you giving up prime time? Is that what you're saying? Or do you know what's happening? Well, uh, what I've said about television is that I have no immediate plans. Uh, I hope to return to screens. Um, in what capacity? I don't know. I mean, that's up for discussion with anyone who's interested in, in uh, talking to me. But I, I don't want to work with the same intensity of, uh, say, two programs a week for 40 weeks of the year. Um, that is quite demanding. What happens at that point is that you know you, you get home at midnight, say from a, a prime time, you're tired, you're up half six in the morning the following day. Mm. Um, when you do that twice a week, it's fine for the first three or four weeks. When you start doing that over 10 weeks, 20 weeks, 30 weeks, 40 weeks, um, you begin to question whether you can do everything well, as well as you'd like. It and and th th that's, you know, that's a, an element that feeds into my decision. Inevitably, uh, people are going to say that this m money comes into this as well. RT has suffered cuts. People are going to say, Pat's gone to News Talk. 
Dennis O'Brien and Communicor must have driven a truck of money to no. his house to get him. <laughs> no, no, that's absolutely not true. The truck hasn't arrived yet, if that's the case. Uh, I had two offers on the table. The money was not uh, the, the overriding factor at all. RT made me a very generous offer uh, to continue. But I weighed it up, I discussed it with the family, and um, they kind of detected the enthusiasm I had for fundamental change. The easiest thing in the world would have been to stay put, everything uh, in place, a team that I'm familiar with, whose skills and talents I recognize and appreciate. Um, and then I could have just cruised along. Uh, but as I say, I'm, I'm someone who likes uh, even to surprise myself sometimes. I mean, the initial reaction would always be, why would I do that? But then you start thinking about it and say, well, you know, maybe I should shake myself up a bit. Look, this is a coup for News Talk. I've worked there for a long time. This is a big coup for them. They're going to go out for the next four and a half weeks and scream that Pat is on 106 to 108 from September yeah. the 2nd. And they're going to scream it long after that as well. But for people out there in Ireland who love the radio, 84% of them listened to it yesterday and are listening to it today. Why, why should they change with you? Well, if they have liked what I do, I hope they will find me uh, where, wherever I am. Uh, in television, for example, if you uh, find a program which is available on any one of the Sky channels and on one of the terrestrials, uh, it could be something like reruns of Friends or it could be Suits, which you can find on, on one of the Sky channels and also on RT2. And um, you ask them tomorrow morning, what did you watch it on? and they may not be able to tell you. They, they remember they saw that program. Now, there are some brands which are uh, totally central to TV. If you watch prime time, it's clearly RTE. But a lot of other stuff, people don't know where they found it. They just know they like the product. And I'm hoping that they will slide up the dial from the upper 80s to the 106s and uh, find me there and find a product that is of the same quality or better than the one that I was doing down in the 80s and that that, that uh, elusive thing, the kitchen radio, um, will, will be retuned, not necessarily all day, there's lots of good stuff on all the channels, uh, not necessarily all day, but that, that it will be a familiar thing for people who may not have discovered uh, news talk at that time of the day, that they will find me there and uh, stay and enjoy it. What, what are we going to get of Pat Kenny on news talk that we haven't had from Pat Kenny for, for four decades. I mean, what are you well, looking Well, I presume News Talk want me because they like what I, yeah, uh, what I have uh, done. Fair enough, so yeah. th there, there will be hopefully the same rigor, uh, the same discipline, the same curiosity. If, if you had asked me what do, do I regard as my single greatest asset in broadcasting, it is a curiosity that is undimmed. Um, curiosity about people, about politics, about uh, everything from psychology to gynecology, I am a very curious individual. If I'm on a train and there's someone sitting opposite me, I can guarantee you by the end of the train journey, I will know everything about them and they possibly will know nothing about me. Mm. It's just the way I'm built. Um, so I'm going to bring all of that with me to, to News Talk. Um, and you know, we will be creating uh, a program. I don't know what it's going to contain yet. This is, this is fairly new to me as well. Um, it will be designed, it'll be a work in progress. We'll be trying to innovate. If it doesn't work, we'll throw it out. If it does work, we'll, we'll do more of it. We'll try and find uh, voices maybe that haven't been heard on radio before. Um, it's, uh, as I say, that's the exciting bit. Yeah. You know, you, you've got a, a blank page, you bring a certain set of skills to it, and then um, magic drops, serendipity, whatever, you can throw in to make to make it work. It's brave. Uh, it's brave to leave somewhere, as you said. People would expect to maybe as a buy buy note, even if it would make it into the media. Pat has resigned for TE. People would expect that's the story that's yeah. expected until the news that you've just told us uh, reaches ears. Are you nervous when you discussed it with your wife and family? Are you nervous about a change after being in one place for so long? Not particularly. No. Um, I mean, the strange thing you asked me about television earlier. Um, the one thing I can say is I've done so much television over the years that uh, you know, building a brand identity uh, where television is a really big help is not something I require. I mean, anyone who's over 10 years of age, um, the younger ones know me from the toy show on the late, late. Mm -hmm. you know. Now, the next generation coming up will know Ryan Tuberty as Mr. Toy Show. But uh, virtually anywhere in the country, 
where I go, I am recognized. If I'm sitting in a restaurant, people come over and say hello. If I'm in a pub, people try to buy me more drink than is wise, uh, but want photographs taken and so on. It's, uh, I don't need to build uh, an identity. So part of the whole thing of leaving behind uh, the, the familiar vehicles is in a sense that I, I, I don't need those things anymore. I don't need to be on television. I haven't got a burning desire to be on television. I don't need you know, to get name recognition or face recognition on the street. I don't need that. Um, so it makes, it makes it easier to kind of leave something behind where already the, the foundations are so strong that uh, I don't think it's going to change people's perception of me. So Pat, four and a half weeks time, four and a half weeks from now, Monday the 2nd of September, Two and a half hours, just to reiterate. Yes, just this isn't hours. April the half first. Half an hour longer than what I'm doing, but you know, I often feel that we have a lot more to say at twelve o'clock, and we don't have enough time. So that's not a bad uh, situation to be in. But I the architecture of the program, no idea yet w what form that's going to take. So I'm not going to promise anything that may not be deliverable. Um, and I would hope, obviously, that uh, to create something that would be familiar comfortable for people to listen to, but also surprising. Pat Kenny, News Talk, weekday mornings, 10 until half past midday, Monday, 2nd of September. I'm glad you said that. I've got to keep remembering it. <laughs> Pat Kenny, News Talk, 10 to 12.30, Monday to Friday, starting September the 2nd. That's the message. Welcome to the jungle, Pat. <laughs> Thanks very much, Chris. Uh